going to show you how to uh, solve an equation, and this equation is going to have a uh, special part to it. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, first thing, what I have is I have a y on both sides. All right. So what I'm going to have to do is I need to get rid of my y either on the left or the right side to solve for it. So since this is negative, I'm going to I always like to solve on the right side. So I'm going to add a six y. And this isn't the problem. This is a negative. So when I add a 6y, I, this becomes 0 and that becomes 0. I'm left with negative 3 equals 3. Now, this issue is a problem because that's incorrect. That negative 3 is never, ever going to equal 3. Those are, um, that's never going to happen. Kindle Banks, please report to the main office. Kindle Banks, please report to the main office. And so what you guys can see is what this is, is this one called no solution, meaning there's not any value we can put in for y where our left side and our right side will equal zero. And another thing you guys can just think about, if I can rewrite this, this might make a little more sense. And equals y or negative 6y plus 3. So let's look at what's happening to our variable. All I did was I rewrote that as a positive over there, or as a plus adding. So I have a multiply my variable times negative six. I do that on both sides. But on the left side, I subtract three, and on the right side, I add three. So obviously, there's never gonna be a number um, that we can use that is going to make each of these sides equal. So that's for this was what we have called no solution. 